in moments of our history, there have been occasions where it has been difficult or was difficult to communicate your words and to let your voice be heard. But in those instances, people had something they really wanted to express. An idea, a thought, a choice, something of importance to their heart and something of worth to their mind that carried enough meaning and desire to voice their heart and their mind. And while they or you may not desire nor feel comfortable speaking to a public audience, they or you can decide to articulate your thoughts, your voice with pen and paper. And one of the most empowering ways to voice your choice is voting. This is Adulting 101 Moments in Our Voting History. Times in history that compelled us to evaluate, research, respond, and then articulate our voice through the ballot box. Voting has been going on for hundreds of years, but U.S. voting goes back to the founding of this country and the Declaration of Independence of which most people know the beginning. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What comes next and is less quoted is that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. July 4th, 1776. That we the people voice our choice. It is part of the premise of our republic and our democratic process, our democratic a Greek word which means the people rule. To research more on the Declaration of Independence, try reading Understanding the Declaration of Independence by James Wolfe and Jennifer Vegas. From the writing of the Declaration of Independence emanated the U.S. Constitution, which contains several amendments to protect the voice and the choice of its citizens. Congress also passed several acts to ensure that the right to vote was possible and attained for all its citizens. For information on the 15th Amendment, which was ratified in 1870 and gave African American men the right to vote, but was hindered by the implementation of local and state Jim Crow laws, read Stolen Justice the Struggle for African American Voting Rights by Lawrence Goldstone. 2020 marks the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote and speak their minds in 1920. To delve into the fight for the suffragettes, try Vote, Women's Fight for Access to the Ballot Box by Coral Celeste Frazier or Let's find out primary sources, the 19th Amendment by Laura Laura. After years of trying, U.S. born Native Americans gained U.S. citizenship in 1924 with the Indian Citizenship Act, thus making them citizens and eligible to vote. In 1964, the 24th Amendment eliminated the poll tax a fee which was used to keep people of color from voting. Read Linda Blackman Lowry's Turning 15 on the Road to Freedom, my story of the 1965 Selma Voting Rights March, for a personal account of the marches and protests that precipitated the Voting Rights Act of 1965, changing voting rights for African Americans from paper only to the voting polls. You could also read Carol Anderson's book, One Person, No Vote, How Not All Voters Are Treated Equal. 
For young adults, the 26th Amendment brought empowerment by lowering the voting age from 21 to 18 in 1971. For the elderly and disabled, 1984 was a year of enfranchisement because the Voting Accessibility for the Elderly and Handicap Act was passed and required polling places to be physically accessible to people with disabilities. For more information on the U.S. Constitution, browse No Fear, the U.S. Constitution and other important American documents published by Sparknote. As you can see, our U.S. election history was fraught with several challenges, yet through people finding their voice and utilizing it, and also advocating for their right, their choice, laws were added, adapted, and morphed to face those challenges. It is by hearing and revisiting records of the past that we understand these voices and their choices. By doing so, it guides us to forethought and to research not only to understand the memoirs that was written and the anthem sung, but also to add our voice, our choice to the narration and to the melody. Thank you for watching Adulting 101 Voting History. To find more of the library's videos on other topics, visit our website at volusialibrary.org or subscribe or follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Here are a few print items that you can use for extra research on voting history. Take care and have a great day.